Here is downtown Fayetteville, or the square as the locals call it. The square is made up of nine blocks, containing numerous old and new buildings, some in the National Register and others covered in new murals. These blocks are dissected by four streets, Center Street and Mountain Street, which run east and west, and Block Avenue and East Avenue, which run north and south. This is the oldest continuously inhabited part of Fayetteville, which was platted in the 1830s, as most post-Jeffersonian American cities would be. The old post office and surrounding square gardens occupy the central node of this area, a spot which would traditionally be filled by a courthouse or town hall. In Fayetteville, instead of upholding their leaders, they chose to spotlight the mail, a symbol of community and connectedness. One of the biggest changes at Fayetteville's old post office is the landscape around the outside. See, all of this used to be just road and parking lot. And this was all just open lawn. But now the city of Fayetteville has gone in and naturalized the area. They have these gardens, rock walls, new rock boulders out of here, a fountain, and lots of native plants. The gardens on the square still manage to be beautiful, even in the dead of winter. These garden spaces are generally walled with local Ozark fieldstone, and they are often strangely shaped, filling in the leftover spaces between parking spaces, roads, and sidewalks. They also provide ample opportunity to sit, watch people go by, and smell the blooming flowers. Fayetteville Post Office and these surrounding gardens are also home to some of Fayetteville's most important annual traditions. These include the Lights of the Ozarks, the annual Christmas celebration that happens down here every year, Here's an example image of the lights of the Ozarks. Notice how the lights cover almost every single tree. And here's Fayetteville Farmer's Market, which has hundreds of booths and happens every week between March and October. First Thursdays is another important tradition that happens in Fayetteville. Uh, this occurs during the spring, summer, and early fall months. And as you can see, he draws enormous crowds. All right. And now Fayetteville uh, the old post office is home to a restaurant called Cheers at the OPO. Uh, this is one of many restaurants in a long line of restaurants that's tried to inhabit this space, but so far Cheers seems to be doing successfully. Uh, most of the ones that have been here before have closed within about a year of operation. Uh, there's also been a club here at one point and a few other businesses that also failed. Uh, but originally this building was built as the post office for the city of Fayetteville. And this was Fayetteville's only post office for the first several decades of its incorporation. As seen here, the old post office is not the largest building on the square or the most imposing. In fact, it is surrounded by trees that are at least twice its height on each side. As you can see from this old postcard, the old post office has retained virtually all of its architectural character and features. In this postcard, you can see that the post office yard used to be much simpler. Just a simple grass lawn, a few shrubs, and a few trees. This image shows how incredibly wide and overbuilt the roads through the square used to be, while this image shows the character of the square back before the roads are paved. In this postcard, you'll notice a centrally located flagpole, which is still there today, minus the flag. Finally, in this 60s era image, you can see that the road had an overabundance of parking on both sides, as well as providing enough space for three cars to pass each other all at once. It is not hard to imagine how pedestrian unfriendly the square was just 50 or 60 years ago. In this image, Mayor Lionel Jordan is showing off the interior of the old post office circa 2012. And here is the drastically different interior of the old post office, just seven years later. The OPO was constructed using the Flemish Bond masonry technique. There are also numerous white concrete detail pieces throughout the exterior, particularly at the edge of the roof and around the windows. Seen here is a large, decades-old preserved tree. And here is an outside patio space. The entrance to Cheers. And here is a bench made by a local artist using recycled materials. The city of Fayetteville and its residents love public art and tries to work it in every place it possibly can. Here, a local artist painted butterflies on electric boxes to help beautify the space. 
Here, a large eastern redwood tree provides shade for a bench along a recycled concrete path. Some more pictures of what the inside of the old post office looks like now that it's the restaurant. Cheers. While the post office has always been a place to send a message, not all letters are made equal. For years, the post office was the bustling heart of an invigorated town, but in the mid to late 20th century, the building would sit vacant, a stark reminder of the death of the downtown in the new car-centered world. Finally, the COVID-19 pandemic and the other atrocities of the year 2020 led to great social unrest, leading one Fayetteville graffiti tagger to say, kill the rich, prison this slavery, and eventually a simple, I hate you. While this graffiti has been removed and 2020 has ended, much of this anger and resentment remains. The post office has sent messages for over a century. What will it say now? Finally, I want to say thank you to Don McEnany, the original designer of the Fayetteville Square Gardens.